What's going on YouTube? RGL in the house coming back at you with a brand new video and this one's going to be a very very fun one. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Before we can do it, I uh, have to give you a little bit of a story time here. Uh, I reached out to Logan Paul, a fellow YouTuber here on the platform. I was just hoping to get some advice from him on how to grow the channel as I approach 20k, you know. And he gave me a lot of really great advice and we started talking about cards a little bit. I started talking about my background in Pokemon and one thing led to another. And uh, it ended up me purchasing the most expensive box that I've ever purchased in my life. And, uh, you know, I was very thankful to Logan for his time. I actually just had to go down to Texas to pick up this box. He has a match at WrestleMania tomorrow night. Uh, him and The Miz are tag teaming up against Rey Mysterio and his son. Uh, I'm a big Logan Paul fan. I'm a big Mr. Beast fan. You guys know, um, you know, I like all the top YouTubers. I aspire to be just like them. I uh, want to be like them one day. I'm really just using this whole cards thing as a way to catapult into that entertainment and react video kind of format. Um, and so, yeah, Logan had a lot of really good advice to how to get out of this lane and into the next lane. Um, so I'll be taking that step later this year. Um, but one thing led to another. We started talking about cards and he said, hey, let me help you out. Let me let me, let me get you a good box. And if we can work a deal on this box, uh, we'll get you to that next level. And sure enough, um, I mean, this one's going to be really expensive. Um this one's, I'm definitely a lot, really, really nervous, actually. Um, but I was able to swing a deal. Uh, it was a box from his personal collection, and we are going to rip it today on the channel. Flew back up here from Texas um, and was able to meet up with him and was able to meet up, uh, gave Roman Reigns some really good advice for his match with uh, Brock Lesnar. Um, and, and yeah, it was an awesome time down there in WrestleMania. Uh, Vince McMahon actually wanted me to host the pre-show, but I told him, hey, Vince, uh, I got to go back. We got to do this video for Friday for YouTube. Uh, and then we have my birthday bash next Wednesday. So I'd love to stay. I'd love to be a guest of honor here at WrestleMania, but I'm going to have to catch the replay uh, on pay-per-view uh, because today I have to rich, rip, rip a box of G.I. Joe for y'all, a real American hero. Uh, so this is a box I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. As you guys know, straight from Logan Paul's PC, uh, this is going to be a full 36 packs per box rip. Full sealed from 1991. It is the Notorious G.I. Joe box. Uh, I'm excited to get into this one. If you guys are excited to get into this one today, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we're approaching 20K, which means it's time to get out of the trading cards and time to get into those React videos. So I'll be reacting to YouTube drama moving forward starting on Monday. Uh, all the YouTube drama, whatever PewDiePie and Courage JD and Tim the Tatman are up to, uh, I'm going to just do React videos from now on. We're going to do memes. We're going to do TikTok trends on the channel. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, but we are going to get 36 packs of G.I. Joes. So we are in for a big, big day. I'm very, very excited for this one. Again, this box was not cheap. Uh, some people say that I probably should have just left this one sealed, uh, left it in a museum. Um, many of these, not many of these out there anymore, but I said, hey, we have to risk it for the biscuit. Uh, again, we're going to get 12 packs pro ox. Uh, very, very sick design. We are going to be looking for those parallels, the Super Fractor one of ones. Um, this is a uh, Impel product, as you guys know, Impel and Hans Hasbro from the early 90s, responsible for some of the best non-sports sets uh, from the 90s. They also did Disney cards, shout out to my dude John. Uh, so, here we go, G.I. Joe, the packs, ooh. Uh, this box was authenticated by uh, BBCE, of course, uh, so we know that the cards aren't legit. There's not going to be like Pokemon cards or anything in here, uh, they are all going to be True, oh my gosh, and look at the quality right away. Look at the quality right here on the SkyMate. Uh, very, very good centering. This is what we love to see. Uh, we absolutely love to see it. Not much bowing. There's no gum stains. This is, um, yeah, this is amazing right here. Uh, so that's the SkyMate right there. We have the G.I. Joe Special Missions. Uh, we have the Croc Master. Uh, Jetpack Jump. Uh, we have the... Uh, I think that's the comic book cover. Uh, blocker, light foot, and look at the centering on this light foot. Holy cow. Uh, so I will be submitting almost all of these cards directly to PSA after the conclusion of this video. But oh my gosh, can you guys just look at this light foot? Look at the perfect centering on this card. Uh, in PSA 10, this one's going to go for $82,000. Um, probably get some of the cost of my box back if this one gems out. Is a little off center on the right, so maybe a 9. A 9 we're looking at maybe like 36000 or so, uh, which will be nice. The PSA upcharge will, of course, really, really suck. Uh, we have Major Blood Grunt. 
another G.I. Joe special mission. That's going to be the brawler right there. And uh, Globus. Glo All right. Not quite what we're looking for. We still have to plenty of packs to go. Still 35 packs to go today. Want to be very careful getting these out of the wrappers. Uh, we have Knockdown, Airtight, Storm Shadow. There we go. That's a big one. PSA 10, we're looking at $112,000. Uh, it is only a Pop 32, of course. Uh, but man, oh, this one this one could potentially be big. This one could potentially be big right there on the Storm Shadow. Um, yeah, that one looks clean again. Again, a little, little heavy right there. Um, not perfect, unfortunately. Uh, back, yeah, a little corner wear back there. So this is probably also a PSA 9. Probably going to get about... 3% of our buy-in back or so right there. Uh, if that is a 9, looking at about 12 grand on that one, I think. Uh, Tunnel Rat. Uh, we have the Motor Battle on Tank Mobat. Astro Viper. And uh, Tracker. All right, 30 packs. 34 packs left today. Want to thank you for joining me. If you've never seen this box before, you are in for a real, real treat. Um, like I said, Logan just came through in the absolute clutch. Uh, absolute clutch. That is a huge one right there. Scarlet. Oh, my gosh right off the rip we have a scarlet again per oh i i don't oh, know guys i just ding the corner you guys see that corner ding on the bottom left uh these cards are very condition sensitive um hopefully we can pull another scarlet psa 10 uh we have a general hawk raptor sludge viper hit and run special missions red star uh cobra there we go that's the one that's the one we're looking for cobra commander right there uh, PSA 10 on that one's going to be $212,000. Uh, if we can get a 10 on that one, we don't want to damage the corner on that one. Again, this is one of the top chase cards in the set right here on the Cobra Commander. Uh, so again, this is going to be a over $200,000 in a PSA 10. Uh, and I'm looking at centering. Uh, centering looks absolutely perfect on this one. I see nothing wrong with this card. Uh, back. Looks good. It is card number 33. Back centering looks perfect. Uh, so I think we probably got at least 15% of our buy-in back just on that one card. We still have 33 packs to go today. Uh, we have Cloudburst as well. Uh, once I feel like we've hit a solid amount of cards that could potentially PSA 10, I will probably just keep the remaining packs unsealed. Or keep them se uh, sealed, excuse me. Um, once we get our buy-in back, I'm perfectly okay just holding on to the rest of the cart, uh, packs as is. I know it's not a sealed box, uh, but still the loose packs do sell for about $850 to $900 a piece. Or $8,500 eight, eight, to $9,000 a piece, excuse me. Uh, Mercer, we have Crystal Ball, uh, Hydro Viper, uh, Snake Eyes. Oh, oh, we have Snake Eyes. Okay, so this is going to be a super short print. This one caught me off guard because you don't see this one too often. Uh, you don't see the Snake Eyes variation too often. Um, this is one per case, 20 box case, 36 cards per box, or 36 packs per box. Uh, this is, they say it's number 135. Now, this one is actually number 351 in the set. It is a 350 card set. Uh, so they got the numbering mixed up on this one. Actually, number 351 on this one. So this one is a super short print. And, um,. Yeah, that one's a monster. I forgot about that one. That one's a very rarely seen card. Uh, PSA 10 on this one is going to be somewhere in the uh, 90,000 to 100,000 range on this one. He's not the most popular character, um, but because of how short printed this one is, you typically only see about one per case. All right, we're going to keep it on rolling today. Uh, we're still going to open at least three more packs. Really, really hoping here that we can uh, get close to money back and call it good. We're still looking for a couple of the big chase hits. Uh, we've got Flint, Ambush, uh, Big Ben. Uh, we've got Roadblock right there. That is another big one right there. So Roadblock, of course, the very, very controversial card. Uh, Roadblock in an interview uh, in the late 90s after G.I. Joe, the cartoon had ended. Uh, he made some very disparaging remarks towards other cartoon characters. Uh, had a bit of a reputation, and they no longer put him in any further G.I. Joe content. So this is actually the only roadblock card they made of him. Uh, he's kind of an outlawed character now, if you will. Um, really faded off into obscurity, a really, really sad story. He's been in and out of rehab a bunch, but, um, you know, hoping he turns his life around. Um, but that is roadblock. You know, he is a fan favorite. Um, but yeah, he, he's, had some, he's had some trouble days, and uh, he was no longer in any products after this one. Uh... So uh, that's a card, uh, you know, for the Roadblock fans out there. 
Uh, we have Major Attitude, G.I. Joe, again, Grand Slam, and, um, yeah, that one. All right. I think two more packs, and we should be good. We should have close to our buy-in back. Of course, PSA will probably upcharge me about $3,000 a card to grade these. Uh, $600 express level, uh, plus the walkthrough fee as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up a couple more packs today. I don't want to open the full box uh, because we have killed it in this first 20% uh, of packs or so. Uh, we have Paralyzer. Uh, Snowcat, there we go. That is it. That is the biggest chase card. That is exactly what we were looking for. Uh, Snowcat, the most popular vehicle in the series. Again, all of the centering, we got very, very lucky on this box. All of the centering has been incredible. And uh, this one might pay for the box. If it PSA 10s and it gets the NBA gold as well, that's the Mike Baxter uh, secondary approval or whatever it is. Um, all I know is that if this card gems out, uh, this is a $500,000 to $600,000 card. Um, yeah, I think I think this is probably where we're going to have to call it for this video um, because that's a monster compared to everything else we hit. Let's look at some of the hits. I think we got our money back in just these cards. Uh, so we have the Roadblock, the Super Short Print Snake Eyes, Cobra Commander, Storm Shadow, and of course the Lightfoot. Uh, again, it looks like there's a cross on that one. That one's a very controversial card, so that one will be pretty popular. But this Snowcat right here has the potential to pay for 30 uh, to 50% of the box on its own in a PSA 10. Um, so I think it's best right now that I, I end the video and I go and I upload this really, really quick for y'all. And uh, I got to get down to Dallas, Texas. I got to get to PSA. I got to get a 10 on this one. Uh, maybe I'll be, I'll be able to scoot back through uh, over to WrestleMania in time for the Sunday main event. Um, yeah, I'll watch Roman Reigns defeat Brock Lesnar, of course. Um, big Roman fan, big WWE fan, diehard WWE fan. Uh, so maybe on the way back. Uh, but as you can see, man, Logan, thank you so much for selling me this box from your personal collection. It means the absolute world to me. I appreciate your advice uh, as I transition out of the card game and into the YouTube uh, drama and the YouTube react video scene. I'm very, very looking forward to getting into that lane and getting out of this lane. Uh, this has been a huge grind. Uh, now that we got 20K, though, uh, we can leave this leave this genre behind. We can move on into react videos and... Uh, I will have Logan on the channel in a couple of weeks along with uh, some other guests like Ninja said he'd pop in. Uh, I have Tim the Tapman. Me and him are going to have a, uh, a burger eating contest for y'all in June. And of course, we've got my birthday bash on Wednesday. Uh, so I have, a lot, I have a lot of stuff to do in the next few days. I got to get this one in PSA 10. This one should pay for at least half the box. And uh, we should be set. Uh, so Logan, thank you so much. Uh, to everybody watching, you had a real, real treat. Um, I have all of these packs left over. I think we paid for the box. Um, you know what? I'm feeling extra special. So if you really, really want one of these, uh, drop a comment. Let me know your favorite G.I. Joe card that we pulled today. I will pick a winner. And um, yeah, I'll pick a winner and uh, send you out a G.I. Joe pack. This pack is eight to $9,000. That's going to do it for me. Take care. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your WrestleMania. April Fools, you idiots. And I'll catch you next time on Down the Road.